We place our rollers on our force table and with their screws. We ensure that they are tightened enough. Then we put our balance ring on our table of forces. Our mass holders connected by ropes to the screw in the middle. We place it on our force table so that it passes through our reels. In order to balance by changing the angles, we first attach random masses to the mass holders. Here, we must take care that the balance ring does not come into contact with the screw in the center of the first table. Then, by moving our reels, we ensure that our balance ring is in the middle when viewed from above. When this equilibrium situation is achieved, we, we write our mass values and the angle values through which the connected ropes pass into our relevant tables. When we want to maintain balance by changing the masses, we adjust the balance ring so that it's exactly centered when viewed from above by keeping our pulleys fixed. We do it by adding or removing masses from our mass holders. Again, in this case, we should be careful not to make contact with the screw in the center of the first table. When this equilibrium is achieved, we record our mass values and the angle values through which the tight ropes pass into our relevant tables. In the measurement and result section, we weigh our masses one by one. And, in the balanced state, we mark the angle values through which the ropes they are attached to on our template. Then, we draw a perpendicular coordinate system and the state of our ropes on our template. These will indicate the direction of the forces.
After determining the angle position of our ropes in our template, you can proceed to the calculations in our experiment sheet.